Ok, let's get started. First create a new document in Photoshop. Put in a nice name. And remember to set the resolution at 72 pixels by inch. Now, zoom in your camera to the maximum percentage. Press the Ctrl and the plus keys until you see that ugly grid. Photoshop shows this grid by default. But I find it very annoying when working with pixel art, so I'm gonna hide it. Hide the grid by going to the View menu, then Show, and then click on the Pixel Grid option. By default, Photoshop applies an anti-alias effect after resizing your images, and we don't want that. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to avoid this to happen every time, by changing the Photoshop General Preferences. Select the nearest neighbor option in the Image Interpolation drop menu. Also, make sure nearest neighbor is selected while resizing your images. Now anti-alias won't happen again. Yay! These are the tools you're ever gonna need to make pixel art. The pencil, the eraser, the paint bucket, and finally, the lasso tool. Select the pencil tool by pressing the brush tool until a pop window appears. To change the thickness of the pencil stroke, click on the box at the top left. Now, here's the tip. To draw straight lines, keep press the shift key with the pencil tool selected. You can set the color for the pencil by pressing on this box on the left. To change the colors in the go, open a color window from the window menu. Here's a tip. If you press the Alt key while the pencil tool is selected, the eyedropper tool will appear, letting you to select a color from your document. Select the eraser from the tools window to the left. By default, Photoshop makes an anti-alias effect. Change the eraser mode to pencil to avoid this. You can change the size for the eraser from the top left box, while the eraser tool is active. Also, you can open the quick box to change the size by right-clicking. Now, let's try the bucket paint. But first, let's change some settings. Set the tolerance to 1 and uncheck the anti-alias box. Also, make sure contiguous is selected. Clicking on a cluster area will fill it with the current color. The last tool I want to show you is the lasso tool. This tool is very useful to make adjustments. Always save your work documents in Photoshop or PSD format to retain its editing capabilities. Once you finish your work, save it for web. Use the PNG format, it will let you have a file with transparency. 